Hi kids. Would you like to hear a short story? Okay. This is a short story written by Daniel Carrier, of Carrier Plumbing LLC, to help remind us how important our natural resources are. It is called, Where Did All the Water Go? It was a very warm day in West Michigan and children all around were having lots of fun swimming and playing in the sprinklers. Zachary and Caitlin had all three of their sprinklers going at the same time. But, they were even more excited than the other children, because they were getting ready to go on a two-week vacation to visit some relatives in Florida. All of a sudden, they heard their mother Kim yell, It's time to go. Zach and Kate, ran straight to the car, jumped in and away they went. First they went to visit their great-grandma Bobby and great-grandpa Bob and had lots of fun watching the alligators, catching lizards and then playing cards at night. Next they went to see their Aunt Darcy, who was a school teacher and took them to many interesting places to learn about the creatures in the ocean. Zach liked the crabs and Kate, liked the starfish. The vacation seemed to really fly by, and it was time to go back home again. On the way back home everyone decided to spend a day at Disneyland. Zachary and Caitlin had so much fun playing all day that they slept all the way back to Michigan. When they arrived home, all of their neighbors were in the street, and seemed to be worried about something. Their dad Ryan asked what was wrong. Everyone said they were afraid they were going to run out of water because the lake was so low. Everyone kept saying, Where did all the water go? Zachary and Caitlin suddenly realized that they had forgotten to turn off the sprinkler hoses before they left on vacation. Zach and Kate, felt really bad and were scared the whole community was going to run out of water, because they wasted so much of it. That night before going to bed, Zach and Kate prayed and told God they were very sorry for wasting all the water, and asked for his help. When they woke up the next morning it was raining really hard, and rained for three days straight. After it stopped raining the family drove to the lake and saw it was back to normal again, so Zachary and Caitlin thanked God for helping. Zachary and Caitlin learned a very important lesson. It's okay to use our resources even if it's to have some fun, but we do need to be very careful not to waste our natural resources because everyone needs them. Would you like to know some ways you can help to make sure you're not wasting resources? First. Always make sure you turn off the water when you're done using it, especially the hot water, because it will not only be wasting water, it can also waste gas or electric at the same time. If you see a faucet dripping, tell your parents, so they can take care of the problem. Did you know, a toilet can waste a lot of water without you hearing or seeing it? If you would like to see if your toilets are wasting water, just have your mom or dad, Go to CarrierPlumbing.com and print out the cartoon clip called, Plumbing for Kids. It will explain how to work with your mom or dad to check your toilets using Kool-Aid. Cool huh? Hey kids. I just heard Carrier Plumbing is going to be starting a Save the Resources campaign. If you live in Kent County, Michigan, and write them a letter saying what you are doing or have done to help save our resources, they will send you a Natural Resource Hero certificate, with your name on it. Visit the Resource Heroes link, on their website for details. You can also send your letters to, Carrier Plumbing's Resource Heroes, P.O. Box 7, 8, 7, Ada, Michigan, 4, 9, 3, 0, 1. Don't forget to add your name in the letter. Well, you kids were great listeners. I hope you enjoyed the story. Until next time. Stay safe, and keep on protecting our resources. I'm really glad, we have heroes, like you.